You are watching the fourth part of the FreeCAD Draft Intermediate course. In this lesson, we will create doors, windows, and insert some equipment. So, first we will create doors, and these are quite simple geometry. This is line, line, and the arc, and the line length is the same of the door width. So, first, I will disable the grid. I don't, I don't like to have the grid visible all the time. And I will make the doors and windows layer active. And first I will zoom into this door and I will create this line, which should be there. Oops, I clicked away. So I will delete this one and create a new one like so. And this line also I will start here move my mouse up, hold shift, and the length will be 800, hit enter. And to make the arc, we will use the arc tool, and we have two options, how to set, how to create arc, and I will choose the, uh, creating it from the center and two points. So first I will click the center, then now it's asking me for a radius. So I will set the radius, I will click here. And now it's asking for start angle and end angle. So I will click here as the start angle and click on this point as an end angle. So this is how you create arcs. So I will create the same process here. Create this line, it's again 800 millimeters and create the arc. This is the diameter, start point, end point. And I will also create this door. I will just check the opening is up here. And the width of this door is 700. So this line will be only 700 millimeters long. And the arc will have center here. This is the diameter, start point, end point. So this is quite straightforward. And uh, now let's create windows and let's first create this window. And uh, I did not dimension it here, but it's offset 100 millimeters uh, from, the, from the external uh, face of the wall and it's 100 millimeters thick. So I will use the offset tool. I will select this line, fire up the offset tool move my mouse here and type in the distance 100 and then I will offset again this line up here 100 and uh, I will also create these frames so I will fire up the line tool and again to use the DQ to track from this point move my mouse here hold shift and type in 50. Now move my mouse here, hold shift and click here. And I can use the mirror tool on this one. So I will select it, use the mirror tool and I want to snap to the middle of this line. So I will turn on snapping to midpoint and I will click here and here. The mirror is created. And as I said previously, I recommend to downgrade the mirror object. So I will downgrade it and I've got wires, wire and lines. Now, because I will want to use this window in other places here, here and here, I will make one object from it and I will make a compound object from it. So first off, I will move these lines into the doors and windows uh, layer. And now, well, I will select all of these objects. So I will hold, uh, I will press Shift B and drag like so. So I've got all these lines selected of the window. And now the compound tool is not part of the draft workbench. So this is the tool that we will switch to the part workbench. So I'm switching to the part workbench. I've got uh, still these lines selected and I will use this compound tool. So I will click here and it created this compound object, 
which contains these four lines and it behaves as a one object. So now I will switch back to the draft workbench and I will select the compound and move it because you can see it's black. It's not in the doors and windows layer. So I will select it and move it into the doors and windows layer. So it's, uh, it has got the properties of the layer. Now I can select the compound object just by clicking on it and it selects the whole compound. You can see it here, it's selected and I can copy it here. So I will fire up the move tool. I've got copy already checked and I will select the base point and the end, the end point will be here. And I also want to copy, uh, create another copy. So I will copy from here to here. Now I will select the compound. I want to rotate it. So I will select it, fire up the rotate tool. And now make sure that you have, you don't have the copy option turned on. So I will uncheck the copy and I will select the point around which it should rotate. So let's say this one. Now I'm selecting the base angle. So I will move my mouse here, hold shift and click. So it was locked at zero degrees. I will move my mouse here, hold shift and click. So it was locked into 90 degrees. Now I can move the tool and uh, you can see that uh, I have got copy unchecked, which is correct. So I will move it here. Now again, move it 100 millimeters in that way. So I fire up the move tool, click anywhere in the space, move my mouse to left, hold shift and type in 100 millimeters like so. So now I want to again copy the window here. So I will fire up the move tool, check the copy option and copy it here and then fire up the move, uncheck the copy and I will move it here to this corner and then move it again. Click here, sh hold shift, move my mouse down and type in 100. So uh, having some object as compounds is very useful. You can manipulate them easily, copy them, rotate, move, etc. This is a nice option of the part workbench. Okay, so let's create another compound object, which will be this cabinet. And it's a simple geometry. I will create it here outside and I will change my active layer to equipment and I will fire up the rectangle tool. Now I will actually uncheck the make face so it doesn't make face. I will click here and the dimensions of the rectangle in the X, it will be 1550. I will type that in, hit enter. The depth will be 600 millimeters, hit enter and local Z is zero, hit enter. So the rectangle is created and now I will use the wire tool to create the symbol. This I have got my snapping to middle set and click here and select close. So these two objects are selected, are created. So now I will select them with the box tool. So shift B, I will drag around them. So they are selected. Now I will switch again to the part workbench and create the compound from it and move back to the draft workbench. And you can see that the compound was created outside of the active layer. So I will move the, move the cabinet into the equipment layer and I will move it into the correct place like so. So now I want to also have the toilet here and the toilet drawing is part of the course material. So you can see in the course material is this file to the toilet. And if I double click it, if I open it up in FreeCAD, you can see it's just a simple geometry, but it's already joined into a compound and basically 
also a BIM object. So we can work with it as a one object. So I will select it and now I want to copy it. So I will use edit and copy or control C and I want to include all of the children objects. So I will now here hit OK. Now I will switch back to my project and here I will paste it. So I will paste and you can see it's already pasted in the correct place. If it was not in another project, it will not be placed in the correct place. You would have to move it as, uh, as other objects uh, that we have shown you previously. So I will close the 2D toilet and redraw this project and I will also move the toilet into the equipment layer so it has the correct color and line thickness. And I can see that I forgot to create the garage doors which are quite simple. I will again use the offset tool to offset 100 millimeters and then offset again 100 millimeters and I will also select these two lines and copy them from here to here. Oops, so I still have to move because I did my selection wrong. And I will select all of these four and move them into the doors and window layer. So this is it for the fourth lesson. We have learned how to create and use compound objects. So we have created the equipment, doors and windows in our project. In the next lesson, we will learn how to create hatches. So I will see you then.